turning pain into purpose. That's what Seneca Riley did when she created the organization Orange Hearts for Mackenzie three years ago. It's in honor of her daughter, Mackenzie. Today was the third annual scholarship dinner. NBC 4's Jackie Gillis went to the dinner and spoke with some of this year's recipients about what this opportunity means to them. Seneca describes her daughter as a butterfly, a social girl who was always laughing. There's not a day that goes by where she's not thinking about Mackenzie. And after her death, she knew she needed to do something in her honor and keep her legacy alive. We took something that was tragic and we made it triumph, right? Mackenzie was a young entrepreneur, so the Orange Hearts for Mackenzie Foundation is designed to support young minority business owners in their endeavors. I will give anything to have my daughter back. That's a fact. This is a really good substitute to be able to just help fill that void a little bit, knowing that I'm helping her peers, helping other young adults um, to be outstanding citizens. Almost three years ago and three weeks after her high school graduation, Mackenzie was shot and killed. Dozens gathered Saturday afternoon to honor her. It's emotional. It's fulfilling. Um, I know it's done with purpose. I know I'm living in purpose right now. Nine people were awarded scholarships at Saturday's event. To be eligible, honorees needed to be minority business owners with a commitment to serving diverse populations. During that time, you learn all the ins and outs of running a business. It made me want to do more entrepreneurship classes in the future. I didn't really know the steps that it took to come with it and what I was going to have to do to actually start it, get it up and running. But Miss Seneca, she helped me with a lot of that. It gave me a new opportunity to just branch out. All three of them own their own company. They do everything from cosmetology to baking. They say that this scholarship will really help grow their business. I lost motivation. It didn't really have a lot of support, so I just stopped. Um, I got back into it. I had to motivate myself, and this was a big part that helped me, um, especially with the scholarship. 30 people have received scholarships since the start of this program. Everyone I spoke with today tells me that everything they learned was invaluable. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Jackie Gillis, NBC4.